Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a fly-through animation on Lumion. So let's get into it. So say if you've already got a Lumion model and you're already, uh, you've already gone and populated the, the whole area with um, stuff like, you know, walking people and cars and bicycles and stuff like that, right? Um, so how would you want to do it? How would you want to go from there? So let's go to the bottom right here and hit this movie icon. And this is where all the stuff happens. So to get started, just click on any empty box you want. So, um, this for example, and hit record. So, you know, basically what you're trying to do right now is figure out, well, how do I want my camera to move, right? So let's say I want my camera to move something like this, right? And then comes around and does this and circles back around like that. So the way you want to do that is start by finding a starting position. So maybe I want here and then do press this and then go like that and then press this on again. So you're basically just trying to create like moments in the movement. Um, and just taking screenshots, basically. Like that. And then, like this. So now when you play the video, it should say 25 seconds long, or something more than that, or lower than that, depending on how many keyframes you've done. Um, so this is how it's going to look when you play it. Let that run through pretty slow. I want it to be a little bit quicker than that, so I'm going to down it to around maybe 17 seconds, I think. So let's see what 17 is like. Okay, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. So what happens beyond that? So let's hit the save clip and you go back to movie mode. Um, so now what you want to do is you want to start adding in some um, effects, right? Because it's pretty bland looking like this. So let's go to realistic or any kind of preset you want to do. Um, and then I'm going to add effects. Um, so there's a lot of things you can do with the animations, so the animations under the animation tab. Um, but the more popular ones is usually mass move, move, um, and yeah. And uh, I'm going to show you how that all works. So let's go to move and let's hit the edit button. So basically what you want to do is you want to click on anything you want so say for example i want to click on this person so let's click them and then on the bottom left you will notice start position and end position so let's do uh, end position first and let's say i want this person to walk this amount of length um and i want her to start from maybe around here right okay and then this car I want this guy to go all the way down to here and I want him to start maybe back here and with this car maybe I want him to start all the way and I'm saying I want to end first maybe I want him to end around here and I want him to start around here and this car maybe I want him to go to something like this full length um, yeah and then let's go over to this one so maybe this person he's going to ride his bike all the way down so I want him to go all the way down here potentially and then his starting position maybe he starts out a little bit further back so yeah and then yeah and then once you're done just hit the confirm button right and so when you start playing it they will move with the video. So yeah, a little bit slow, but you can really just edit that however you want it to look. So yeah, 
Um, another one is, of course, Mass Move. So Mass Move is a little bit finicky, but it's a really good thing to do. So let's say, you see how there's two people walking here? Let's say I want them to move in synchronization, right? I want them to move the same amount of distance without having to actually individually click each one and, you know, do what I did before. So let's do this and that. Okay, let's have them walk that far. Um, so you will notice there's this path that's being created. And so any uh, human or object is going to move with it. Now, obviously, we don't want the object to move with it, right? Because you see what will happen now is if I start playing, it's going to act a little bit crazy. Oh, it's not going to move at all. Hang on. Let me just move it. There you go. See, it starts doing this. And we don't want that. So let's move it back to zero. And basically how you figure that out is on the bottom here, there's path directions. So you can edit that as well if you want. You're going to go backwards. I'm going to go do this, that, but um, the one we want to untoggle is the cars, obviously, and then the imported models, as well as the groups. And now that should play as normal. There you go. Um, and then the next thing we want to do is obviously catch that other person in the animation as well, so this person. So let's just widen that up enough and make sure this guy that's standing still is caught up in the shot. And I want this uh, path to go a little bit further down, maybe somewhere around here potentially. And let's start playing it and see what happens. See, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let's, let's, let's stop that there. Okay. So once you're done with that, um, that's pretty much about it. I mean, you can go in and add in your, you know, your extra, extra um, edits if you want um, with these, uh, you know, effects. But for the sake of this video of showing how animations work, this is basically all you have to do. Um, and if you want to render this thing. All you have to do is press this render button, render movie, and then just click it. And then just set it to however kind of quality you want it to be, and frames per second as well. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching.